So this is last year's hypertext conference proceedings. It's 335 pages. There's a lot of knowledge in here and a lot of work, but it really just starts with um, the first paper and then it goes on. Uh, it doesn't really have a table of contents. So if we look at it in um, preview, for instance, the table of contents just has uh, document names. So there isn't a lot there. Um, yeah, so it's, it's very basic and that's fair enough. So what I've done, I've taken all the articles and put them into author. Let's oh, click on one here. I have put the title as a heading, the contributing authors underneath, and then a sentence that is the first sentence of the abstract, followed by a link to the second sentence, because that allows us to do things like this. Export to PDF, open up in Reader. And here, um, let's just look at this one, for instance. The number here is a citation. So this is where the second sentence of the abstract appears. But if you now click on this, it'll open the original conference proceedings to that page. So it's kind of a quick access. So that's kind of nice, but it's still not super readable or interrogable, if that's even a word. So let's go back to um, author. So what I've done also is each article has been defined using, first of all, who wrote it, and then an AI summary, AI keywords, and let's have a look at another one. Uh, also AI names, seeing if there are any names that can be AI extracted. Uh, so I've edited some of this myself, gone through, um, added some that I thought were missing, edited and all of that stuff. This is not supposed to be AI automatic. If I click on map here at the bottom of the screen, uh, I've chosen to have all the papers here. I'm going to just use a bit of automatic layout to clean it up. So of course, when I select all of it, it becomes an absolute mess. But there are some interesting things. I can choose the countries to move these around. I can get a kind of a clue. You can see here that um, USA, UK and um, Germany had a lot China, Korea, Japan had very little. That's kind of semi-interesting. Um, I've taken names of people who are important in this field and put them separately. These are people who have not contributed articles. These are people that are particularly relevant to my work. So I put them in a special category, can move them anywhere. Um, and so I can manipulate this. These are keywords that matter to me that have been extracted. I can look at them in chunks if I want to, or just a single one. So that's quite useful. I can also do things like this, hide all the documents. So now, for instance, I have space to play to see more about the, the countries, who are from what countries and, and all of that. And I can undo to go back. I can um, bring the documents back. If I want to, I can hide the people too. Uh, here's a mistake. He did not get hidden. So let's bring the people back. But the design issue that I'm having currently is that if I select, let's say, Alan Kay, it's nice. I can see USA easily point to the line. I can see why. It's because uh, it's listed as being from the United States. But the line to the article is hard to see what it points to. It points to, in this case, uh, my article. So what I plan to do is this, change it so when you select something, if it has a strong line, meaning it contains what is linked to in the definition, it'll be reversed and strong. If it points to it, it'll be reversed and lighter. So that's the next stage. But I do think that this is a um, opportunity for very interactive viewing of a corpus of knowledge, that corpus being a um, collection of documents in a proceedings or journal. So if the metadata gave us all of this stuff, uh, then the end user could put it anywhere they wanted to, and they could choose what keywords to have out. They may be interested in some and not in others. 
uh, and that's kind of the whole point of keywords. They should be individually key. Oh, by the way, these are uh, the workshops. They are a separate kind of category. Uh, also, I want to be able to have something on here to show whether this is interesting or not, because after a while you don't want to have every single article listed because you're not interested in every article. This is to help you get a list of a series of articles that make sense to you based on geography, keywords, um, who worked on it, uh, all of these things. Anyway, point of this story is this is on a 27 inch screen. This is one of the few things that I think can really benefit from being in a much bigger virtual reality space, provided we have these controls to easily show and hide different tags um, and to do real things for our workflow. Thank you for having a look. It was a bit rambling, but this is quite new to me and I hope we can continue developing this.